Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing something very specialised and very special. The Hipsos power supply from Ferrum. This external regulated ultra low noise power supply will deliver some of the ultimate upgrades to any small appliance in the hi-fi industry with an external power supply. This product has a combination of linear and switch mode power supplies in a hybrid design delivering 0.1 volt steps all the way from 5 volts to 30 volts with up to 6 amps of current. It regulates and monitors the power for these devices using a control method through the cable and an operating system it, that delivers real-time voltage and current to those devices for utter perfection. It is set up with some of the best processing on board to uh, allocate certain settings for certain known products and you can go into a manual mode and adjust absolutely everything so it's absolutely perfect for that uh, uh, hi-fi device. Right, now let's have a look. Firstly, pretty simple. Uh, Ferrum does small sort of desktop audio products and this is one of their products. The vast majority come in these uh, two-tone boxes. A little bit of elegance to it. Plain enough. On one edge we have scannable information for the serial number and information associated with the model and of course the Hipsos here. Opening it is very, very straightforward. It's not even taped closed. Although it did come in a freight carton, so a sort of boring brown box where you put your courier label. Opening it up, we see uh, some beautiful closed cell phone protecting the product and some introduction uh, and a thank you for this type of thing. It's a quick, quick start guide, for want of a better word. It's a very simple product, so there's a couple of things in, a couple of things out. I mean, it's very easy. The closed cell foam, uh, it's cut away, and then it reveals the product inside the box itself. Now as I alluded to in the physics of its box, this isn't a large product, but it's so well thought out it doesn't need to be any physically bigger. In it we have a New Zealand IEC power cord, and we have the uh, power cable and adapter associated with uh, providing and monitoring the output of the device and the input requirements of the device that it's plugged into. It's sealed closed, it's half a metre long and there's a scannable sort of parts code on it. Opening that bag is relatively straightforward and we see in that cable a four pin sort of uh, screw on DIN plug and a traditional uh, socket, uh, sorry, plug on the other end, all gold plated for the best conductivity possible. Taking the product out, we immediately realise the build quality of it. It's extremely heavy, surprisingly so. And then, of course, as you would expect with anything of this quality, the moulded packaging to support it. Now, looking at the product, it's relatively muted, other than a little bit of style with the wood grain panelling. Uh, now please, as always, hang around for some photographs because it's the front display that really lets you know what's going on. Uh, it's so much more than just an external power supply that you sort of plug in. It gives you the ability to set up and attenuate things. Uh, uh, it's often found that by upping the recommended voltage ever so slightly, point something of a volt or two, you can end up with a little bit, uh, a little bit more detail perhaps and then backing it off under the regulated or recommended voltage, you can sort of soften things if required. There's lots of products, the, the Cord M Scaler is a good example, that it's a built-in design to click in and, and set up for, which can vastly improve the product by supplying such quiet, uh, regulated power, which of course that product is going to utilise and in the end ends up in the audio chain. So being able to regulate it right from the start is one of the reasons that this product is so good. Nevertheless, we see the uh, Ferrum logo. We see what will be an LCD display, and then a rotary encoder for the purposes of navigating through that display and, and uh, selecting your requirements. It has four rubber feet screwed on the bottom, 
and again scannable information for its model and serial number. It's not very deep, but again I want to point out how well made it is. It's very, very heavy. It's at the back that we see a couple of things though. The first of course is the IEC input along with a fuse and a good quality rocker switch. Here at the back we have, unusual for what you would expect with a power supply, a USB. Now that is for the purposes of software updating. Again, this comes programmed with a lot of the uh, more common products that would benefit from an external power supply of this credibility and quality. And you can utilize that to software update for the next generation of products and the next and the next. So it's wonderful that that kind of thing can be uh, looked at. Then we've got a trigger. Now this enables this to be turned on and off, or sorry, turn on and off other devices if required. And then hidden behind this cap is where the four pin socket, of course, for the four pin plug. Now, lining that up, it's, it's keyed in a certain way, so you, there's a little red dot on the top. Uh, you plug it in, and give it a twist, and it locks in place. So there we have it. Ferrum's Hipsoft, the ultimate hi-fi upgrade, the ultimate external power supply, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.